The LinkedIn profile is literally the most comprehensive profile on all of social media. And that is why it is literally your canvas. And today I want to talk about how 90% of you are not fully utilizing the power of your LinkedIn profile. And so I want to talk about this concept of your LinkedIn profile being a canvas because it's, it's totally different to how we used to look at LinkedIn. We used to look at LinkedIn as this boring corporate place where you look for jobs as a person in corporate and we don't associate it with, you know, creators or design or branding or anything like that. It's very much kind of like a professional networking platform. It feels kind of like you're in an office, right? But LinkedIn has completely transformed post-pandemic. People are always shocked when I tell them this. People literally get paid to do brand deals on LinkedIn. Like I've done brand deals for companies with companies where I have promoted their products on LinkedIn and they have paid me. And I see this all the time on LinkedIn. People's carousels on LinkedIn are getting fancier. There's been a push towards LinkedIn becoming a creator platform. And this is where I think the big opportunity is treating your LinkedIn profile like a canvas. And so I'm going to just talk a little bit about the first ever service that I did when I first started out with this business um, as an entrepreneur last year in September. So when I first started my TikTok channel, which was in May 2022, I had sort of stuck around talking about the LinkedIn profile just because it was like super niche. Uh, And so then when I started my business in September, I decided to do a done for you service for LinkedIn profile. So I literally like my main service was to show people how to uh, or help them basically completely upgrade their profile. I would rewrite their whole copy. I would design all their visuals. I would like set up their whole funnel, everything. And some for some clients, I would even go in and literally do the changes for them. Like this is like early stage business for me last year in September. Um, And so when I would do these profiles for my clients, like I I need to show you guys sometime the before and the after, because I really transform these profiles because I treat the LinkedIn profile like a canvas. And it's not just that I make them look pretty, they actually work. So I was literally editing one of my clients video testimonials that he did for me uh, about a month ago. And I was re-watching, obviously, for ages as I was editing all these things that he was saying. And he was just talking about his profile in such a, like, prolific, if I may, way. But the most important thing that he was saying was he felt like the LinkedIn profile is, like, a part of him. And it's very personal. And and he really cared about how he appeared, right? Um, And he was also saying that because of the profile, he was able to show up as himself And also because of the design of the profile, the headline and the way that we set it up as a funnel, he has literally completely booked out his podcast, which is in a niche category, by the way. And like this industry is construction tech. You would not think that these people are on LinkedIn, but his ideal clients and his ideal audience for his podcast, he's also a startup founder, is on LinkedIn. So anyway, like his banner is like this really cool like fun play about like the construction tech like a little word play on the construction tech industry and it just like looks so awesome but I would create all these profiles and they would literally be like these artworks because that's what actually stands out on LinkedIn right now so what I don't understand is when people think that so the whole world is becoming more kind of, you know, focused on the UI, the design, colors, branding, everything like that. But like we somehow think that like it's just not going to be relevant on LinkedIn ever. I think LinkedIn has, re- like I said, it's evolved so much that it's now catching up almost not close, but like it's catching up to the aestheticness of, for example, Instagram or you know, TikTok or or platforms like that, even YouTube, like the quality of videos on LinkedIn sometimes is YouTube level. And so the level of quality on LinkedIn is going up is what I'm saying, which also means the profile uh, is a key piece of the canvas overall, right? 
And the point that I want to make here is the LinkedIn profile is extremely comprehensive. The amount of information that you can put on your profile is actually crazy. Compared to, let's say, an Instagram profile, you have a tiny little bio. Yes, you have your highlights. That's great. But the profile, the LinkedIn profile, it's just there's so many sections. It's just easier to navigate. And there's all these placeholders almost where you can put information, right? And so that's completely a different experience. You have literally a massive canvas to talk about yourself and sell yourself to your ideal client. And I don't mean in a gross way. I just mean in a, like we're selling at the end of the day and we have to be doing that on our profile. And I don't just mean like a call to action to work with you. Selling, I mean, in the whole, like the wholesome, like the whole holistic sense. That was a big struggle there. Uh, it's, it's, it's the way that you write your posts. It's the way that you design your banner. It's the way that you welcome people into your community. It's the way you comment on other people's posts. It's how you sign off. It's how you talk about your experience in your about section. It's what you include in your featured section. This is, you're constantly selling. It's all these touch points, right? And on the LinkedIn profile, there's so many touch points and there's so much opportunity. And the beautiful thing is the more information you add to your profile, the more you get these two benefits. The first benefit is that you appear in more search results. So the more information that you give LinkedIn, the more high quality your profile is and the more that signals to them, like this is someone who wants to create connections. It actually increases your social selling index, which is this weird little metric that LinkedIn has for everyone. I don't really pay too much attention to it, but they can detect whether, for example, you know, do you have an about section or not? If you don't have one, it's kind of like, do you really care to network type of thing? So when you fill out your profile, you're actually favored by the algorithm, both the search algorithm and maybe even some other situations, right? Because you just seem like a more serious member of the platform. The other benefit is that you make it a lot easier for your ideal clients to know whether you're the right fit for them. And you give a lot of other people an opportunity to connect with you because they can learn about you and get a sense about you. Think about it as almost like, I'm almost tempted to say that like the LinkedIn profile is almost like a mini little like snapshot of your feed or something. And it's really like this canvas of you, right? And there are these different elements and it's, it's something that you can leverage to basically, again, sell the person on scrolling down your profile, sell the person on sending you a connection request. This is all selling. Like, yes, there's no money transaction, but you're selling, right? So two big reasons that you need to include information on your profile. And something that I really want to, again, highlight here is the branding piece. Make, make it look good. I'm not saying it needs to be fancy. It doesn't need to be professional, but make it something that shows your personality and it, it makes people feel a certain way. I'm actually so proud of my banner right now because it really embodies my feeling right now. Like when I look at my banner with my profile picture and my headline, I'm like, yes, like that, that feels good. That feels in alignment. I feel like I look bold. I feel like I look nice. I also have like a sense of authority. I really like it. It's, I don't know when you're going to watch this, but, um, there's basically, uh, it's a black background with like white text and a little bit of red accent. And then I have this profile picture with like the trees in the background. It's actually very unusual. It's not my usual look, but anyway, I should probably apologize by now about the stuff in the background. Um, but so we're talking about the fact that, yeah, the branding piece, because not a lot of people are doing that on LinkedIn. Not a lot of people are doing it. They're just putting the profile, you know, like everyone else. And then they're not, you know, getting attention like everyone else. They're not getting engagement like the top people because you're just blending in. And this is something that is just such a difficult concept for people to understand because there's just so many issues with it. But the 
the big opportunity on LinkedIn right now is to stand out. That's the opportunity at hand. So, you know, that's the goal. And so when I work with my clients, I push them. Like, for example, when just now I was working with my one of my one on one clients in my 30 day containers and I'm pushing her on her headline. I'm like, let's put more social proof. Let's be more bold. Let's be more conversational. Let's talk more like you. Let's hit them with something that's really going to stop the scroll because we can go and blend in like everyone else. Like you'll still get high paying clients on LinkedIn because like those are the clients you'll get, but you're not going to really get like your dream, like high caliber because think about your ideal clients as like a magnet. And the stronger your magnet is, the the faster you're going to magnetize them. But in order for your magnet to be strong, you really have to have a strong, not a strong personality, but you need to clearly demonstrate who you are and what you stand for, what you're like, so that they can hear you and see you and feel you when they land on your profile, right? Like I'm getting really, really kind of like intense here, but that's, that's the level that's required right now. Like so many people think that you can just like create a profile that's optimized and then you just like post a bit and no. And, and see, this is a funny thing because I feel like people think that with LinkedIn, it's like, it's, uh, it's behind or something. And, and, and actually maybe it's my bad because sometimes I talk about LinkedIn being the caveman of social media, but it's the cave on a social media in terms of features, not in terms of the quality of the content and the quality of the engagement, because on LinkedIn, people, people want quality. You can't just put any kind of content. And, and, and this is going to, this would probably burn some people if I told them it was about them. But honestly, like most of the stuff that I see in my Instagram feed is not going to work on LinkedIn. But anyway, so we're getting down the rabbit hole here with content. So I just kind of opened a bit of a can of worms there and got a little controversial. But maybe that'll be a topic for Batty Batty Diaries one day. But anyway, so uh, this whole topic of, you know, 90% of people are still blind. So it's like, it's just such an easy opportunity. And so if you're anyone who wants to like, like if you just want to like get clients and pay the bills and pay the mortgage and kind of move on with your life, like that's all well and good. But if you want to truly create a business that makes an impact and people associate your name with it, people know that you're doing great stuff and, and you can reach those really great clients that you can drive amazing results for and feel so fulfilled by if you want to start a movement, like you want to be a brand, that's when you, you're going to have to stand out and, and you're going to have to stand out on LinkedIn. There's no excuse. You can't just get on there and be blunt. That's not going to work. But if you do want to build a movement and you are willing to do it and you're getting on LinkedIn, big things, big things will happen for you. I can, I can assure you. And so the last thing that I want to talk about before I jump off of this very quick live, quick impromptu live about your LinkedIn profile as a canvas is I was just talking to one of my clients, my one-on-one coaching containers, and she just sparked this crazy thing for me. So she runs her business on TikTok. She's like really crazy. Like she's got like some really great engagement, some great videos. Like she's a TikTok star. Um, but she wanted to also get clients on LinkedIn. She's like, I want that too. Um, and she basically has been working on her profile. And so she's trying to figure out how to get her featured section nice and optimized with her offers and and her personality and everything. And so she had been looking at a bunch of other profiles and she found these two profiles who one of them had one approach and the other one had another approach. And she was doing this thing where she was kind of blending the two. She's like, I like how this person has it like this, but I like this one. So I think I'm going to combine it. And it was such a good combination. And I loved how she was getting almost like super aesthetic about the featured section and getting really creative about how can I show my personality? How can I really stand out? How can I hook someone in? How can I hook in the right person who's going to resonate with me, my like dream clients? And that got me thinking a lot about bringing over practices from other platforms when you're omni-channel so something for example that I recently brought over 
uh, from other platforms to LinkedIn is TikTok videos, especially seven second trend TikTok videos, post those on LinkedIn and they do pretty well. And so uh, I like just kind of cross pollinating like that. The other one that I've been doing recently is uh, bringing offer graphics. So, you know, on Instagram, when people roll out an offer, they have this, uh, like a, they design like a graphic for it. And sometimes there's even music. So I've started putting kind of graphics for my offers uh, in my LinkedIn posts and my carousels and stuff like that. And so with my client, I felt like I was basically telling her, like, I want to empower you to really bring your creativity into your profile. Like, again, your LinkedIn profile is a canvas and people are underutilizing their profiles. Uh, and so basically, um, I wanted to encourage her, like, step into your creativity, like, do something different. Yeah, and don't don't be afraid to also just put it up there and see what it looks like and just leave it there. It's not perfect. Who cares? Like, it's a canvas. It's a work of art. It's never complete. It's never perfect. It's just an expression. It's it's what you want to put up there right now. And then you can tweak it. If there's a broken link, obviously take that down, but it's just put it up there. See what it looks like. Put your work with me page, put your, I don't know, favorite LinkedIn post that tells a great story about you, you know, put it up there, see what it looks like, and then tweak it as you go and, and gather that feedback as people tell you what they like as well. Right. What are they responding to? What are they commenting on? So I'm really excited to see what she comes up with. And I really, really am excited to see more of her personality come out on, on LinkedIn because those are the creators I see grow the fastest. The ones who just really, really just do something crazy. They not like completely insane, but like they do something different. Like even there's this one woman who I follow, she's I think like a leadership coach or something. Every single one of her LinkedIn posts, she has a little hot chili pepper and she's, I think she's a Latina. And so she has like spicy tips for leadership or whatever. And it's just funny. It's very simple. It's nothing too crazy. It's not like too much for LinkedIn, but it just adds a little bit of that branding and a little bit of that personality and that consistency. And she gets a lot of engagement and, and I'm, it's great content. She has a strong network too, but I think it's a lot of it. She's built up that branding with that chili pepper. Um, and I think she might actually even have it in her headline. So when she comments, I think, I think there's a chili pepper in there. Um, but yeah, so thinking about branding that, that I think that's the future of LinkedIn. Actually, I wish I was kind of doing like a predictions video or something, but anyway, so that's, that's what I have for you today, a random impromptu, uh, training on your LinkedIn profile is a canvas. Last thing I'm going to say is I'm super excited because I am building in the background a new digital product that is focused only on the LinkedIn profile. So it is literally, I think I'm calling it the LinkedIn profile facelift. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really excited about it because I've been wanting to create something like this for a long time. It's basically all my knowledge about the profile into a tiny little product uh, you can, you can also upgrade if you want to get an audit from me. So if you want kind of like custom feedback on your profile, once you've perfected your canvas baddie, uh, you can request an audit, but with the, with the little resource, you can essentially self audit your profile, redo stuff. There's going to be templates. There's templates for the headline about section experience section ideas for your banner. Uh, there's even like a little, I have this little Canva template where I show you where to avoid putting the design so that you, your banner doesn't get cut off by desktop and by the profile picture on both desktop and mobile because it shrinks. So it's literally like, almost like I want to call it LinkedIn profile in a box anyway. So it's coming out soon. Um, I'm not formally launching it or anything. I'm just going to kind of put it up in my store, but keep an eye out and send me a DM if you're interested in that. Um, also feel free to send me a DM if you, um, are like, I kind of want my whole profile done for me because, um, I, I used to do that as a service. I don't do it a lot anymore, but, um, sometimes I do like to do a little creation. So if someone, if you're interested, DM me and I can tell you about what that looks like, but I am going to head out now, but remember your LinkedIn profile is a canvas, unleash your personality on it. This is the opportunity 
that is how you're going to magnetize your me, your like dream, dream, dream clients on, on LinkedIn. So, okay. I will see you in the next one.